Hello my friends and welcome to Open Studio D. So today we're going to talk about small tips for your art studio. So let's get started. Here we go. Always a question, how and where to dry your finished paintings? Yes, just simple drying rack. Uh, I know a lot of you are going through, as an artist uh, organizing your art studio, are going through this problem, where to dry your paintings, especially if you, uh, as me, decided, you know, when I decided to paint daily and I continue this marathon of painting daily, I have a lot of uh, pieces, a lot of uh, canvases that are in the process of drying and I need to put them somewhere. My studio is very small uh, in my basement and I have to utilize every uh, square inch of my studio and having big huge furniture is not acceptable for me so I was looking for something else uh, maybe shelves I try to use shelves but I bought maybe three shelves and put them in the wall and put paintings uh, on the shelf against the wall but again I, sometimes I have 10 paintings that are in the process of drying and I don't have an extra space so I came up with a simple idea and I would recommend it, highly recommend it because it's inexpensive. It's cost maybe from three to five dollars and from the one square foot of space you can have seven up to seven or sometimes up to ten uh, spaces for your drying uh, canvases or for the canvases that are in the process of drying. And the solution is very simple. The solution is this, just simple office file organizer. Yes, just simple file organizer that will cost you maybe from dollar fifty to you know five five dollars the most. I bought this one from I think from IKEA. Uh, I paid dollar fifty, and uh, it has actually seven uh, slots, so I can put seven paintings at the same time. And what I love about this one, particular this one, is that the you know the uh, uh, distance from this point to this point is only eight inches. Normal, regular, standard uh, shelf uh, is ten inches, uh, sometimes twelve inches. Uh, let's say your shelf is um, five feet, so you can put probably two of this um, drying rack or file organizer. For me, it's a drying rack, and have you know if this is seven uh, seven uh, slots, so you can put fourteen paintings to dry on a single shelf yes instead of only two you can put 14 crazy but this is a simple solution so let's say you 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 put this on your shelf you have four or five feet shelf on your wall just one and you have two of this when you finish your painting you just drop it right in the slot right in the opening like this and then you finish another one you put, put another one right here Right? and you can move them. Let's say you have a bigger, this is eight by 10. One is uh, 12 by 16, no problem, right here. And you have three. Very simple solution, very economical, inexpensive, and you can spend the rest of the money for your paintings, brushes, or whatever, uh, you know, canvases to paint, something that you're going through. Simple solution, old style, old fashioned file uh, organizer that you can buy from anywhere. And I will put the link in the description where to buy from, probably from Amazon. Uh, you, can, you can get uh, those organizer with uh, five spacers uh, or slots or up to 10. It's up to you. But I would recommend probably get, if you're getting something measured distance back to front, make sure it's not exceeding the size of a uh, standard shelf. You can install the shelf on your wall and you can put several of these files and start using it as a drying rack or as an analyzing rack. So this is my tip for today. If you're new to this channel, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like, and stay tuned. If you are already subscribed, thank you very much for supporting my channel and I will see you next time with more tips. Here we go.